Welcome back to No Filter. Uh, today I got a really shitty story to tell y'all because fucking work sucked ass and it fucked me so hard, dude. It fucking sucked. Last week uh, I got laid off from my job and it sucked ass because I just, oh man, I'm still pissed about it. I don't know, I don't know what you guys think I should do in this scenario, but um, a lot of people that I've already told this situation have told me you should probably get a lawyer, which I probably will. Um, maybe i don't know i really don't want to re waste resources on something that i really do not give a shit about but i did bring it up to hr i might have to bring it up to the corporate offices of where i previously worked at um and i'm gonna put them their name on full blast because i mean the way that they did me is the way i feel like they're gonna fuck somebody else they literally finger fucked me bro like it was fucking crazy dude I um I was pissed. I, I was definitely fucking pissed. I was not happy with the way that whole situation went down. Which, by the way, uh, it was early in the morning. Not even a minute after I woke up. It was fucking crazy. Like, I want to say as soon as 5.30 hit, I get the phone call. At 5 o'clock, I got a text message. Was I, I was still asleep. But as soon as 5.30 hit, don't come into work. Don't fucking come into work. You're fucking fired. Before we get into that, we're going to talk about some events that have taken place and before that we're going to talk about right now some sneakers that i'm going to post very soon before kicks and couture so here we go so you might be wondering why aren't they on my page yet on denim he why aren't did i why didn't i bring them to soul swap which by the way this happened the day before i'm recording this uh so for me it's yesterday but once i upload this like two days ago um but anyways I couldn't get a lot of the stuff up. Well, these three things up because one of them barely got delivered on Saturday, which fucking sucks. Which, by the way, FedEx, or, or I can't remember who the fuck delivered it. I think it was USPS. I know it wasn't UPS, but I'm not for sure if UPS has done some crazy shit to my boxes yet. But I know either USPS or fucking FedEx decided to take a look inside of my box, which was really fucking shady of them guys to get. Now, that wasn't the first time. But I know it won't be the last time. But here we go. Before then, let's talk about these joints real quick. So these are a women's size six and a half slash five in men's. Uh, unless I got that wrong because I'm fucking stupid. Okay, so Nike Dunk Low. I forgot the fucking name of them. But here you guys go. These are really, really stellar for the summer, man. These are such a clean ass color. Now, I wish these had that really nice crispy white in the middle of them underneath their overlays because that would have definitely made them look a lot more attractive but let me pull in the other shoe real quick in the light bone citron pulse colorway uh these are clean as fuck i mean if girls if y'all want them let me know they'll be on my page at den of heat again these are to make sure fucking i know the box but i keep getting the size confused either it's a fucking men's or a six in my fucking mind i don't know six and a half women's okay there we go six and a half women's if y'all need them let us know uh we do ship uh nationally we do not ship internationally okay so outside of the u.s borders we do not unfortunately because i'm pretty sure even if i were to try to ship this one out it would cost me at least like 40 30 bucks uh depending on who i go through uh i know usps I, th I think, uh, yeah, because they're down the street from me. I think they showed up told me it was like 35 bucks just for something like this, which is ridiculous, but it is what it is. But again, um, I'll have them on there, the price and everything, more pictures on there on Den of Heat. Uh, but for now, again, six and a half women's. Let us know if y'all need them. On to the next one. Okay, so those previous dunks, the reason why I didn't take them even though they showed up before Soul Swap was simply because, or I haven't even posted them yet, simply because they showed up literally, I think, the day before soul swap so i had no time whatsoever because i was already busy trying to sell, make sales and whatnot because i know i had a few people asking me for some pairs before soul swap because i they knew i was going to be uh you know available um on saturday so but here's the other one this one released the day of soul swap as you guys can see badass red box right there and then the shoe itself here give me a second this one is before i do this this one is a size some women's. This is the Atmosphere White Muslin Sale. Uh, okay, women's Air Jordan, size seven again. Here you guys go. The washed pink Jordan ones. These are absolutely clean, man. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people are probably gonna get mad at me for saying this, but I call these the Turbo Pinks, just like how I call the Hyper Royals the Turbo Blues. Now, why is that? Because originally, uh, if you don't know, the supposed new hyper royals are actually called uh are actually really supposed to call the turbo greens in my opinion okay 
but the original Hyper Royals are those badass, all blue, super badass, super plush ass fucking leather. They look so fucking sick. I love them. Uh, I have them in my collection right now. Um, I, I would pull it out, but it's like really, really messy. But um, I'll probably, you know, show them off in a different video. But they were definitely such a badass shoe for the time. But I really do call this series of shoes the Turbos. Uh, just like how they did the Turbo Green. Uh, the Hyper Royals, but I call those Turbo Blues, and I call these the Turbo Pinks, because, I mean, they're just, they're really nice. I really would have preferred that name over they call over them calling them Wash Pink. I mean, it's just, to me, it just makes more sense because of the amount, the, the style and similarities that they have uh, close to each other, so. But yeah, let me pull out the other shoe real quick. I think my favorite part about this entire shoe really has to do with the fact that the right shoe, uh, I don't know why the right shoe got it. I don't know if that's... Uh, traditional or not i don't know where do you guys put your guys hang tags because this is what this thing got this is one of my favorite things about uh air jordan one shoes is that they get this badass hang tag i don't know why the camera won't focus uh but yeah check that out hang tag and everything this wings logo is also probably my new favorite thing about air jordan ones i love that embossed look to it now i know what was the hate the high 85s have gotten that wings logo like that embossed into there just like that but except you don't see it very commonly, at least. Uh, I know it was the uh, uh, the Lucky Greens got it, the Air Jordan One Lost and Founds got it, and then these ones got it. And I think what else do I have? Uh, I know the Taxi didn't get them. I know that, but I can't remember whether she got this Wings logo right there. But this one, honestly, I mean, I love this iteration of the Wings logo for the Air Jordan Ones. But yeah, here you guys go. Uh, Turbo Pink, what I like to call them, but Washed Pink. Um, if y'all need them, let us know. Uh, 240 is where we're going to put them on there for. And then, uh, obviously, again, we ship out. Um, we have our shipping policy on our page. So if you guys want more details on that, it'll be on there. But again, wash pinks, size 7 girls. If you need them, let us know. On to what we like to call Team Early. So again, this was the shoe that showed up on Saturday, the day of Soul Swap, fucking late. And on top of that, the box was partially open. Someone was definitely peeping these out and I don't blame them, but at the same time, it's not right. Okay, I, I just, I remember, okay, I worked at UPS for a while. I did get Nike packages. I was so tempted, but I was just like, nah, I'm not wanting to be one of the fuckers. I did not, plus, not only that, the person that I was delivering to knew who I was and I they had seen my story that I had been working for UPS. So more than likely, they would have reported my ass and got me fired, which by the way, I wasn't trying to lose the 21, an hour job that I had at the time, which it was a seasonal job, but I mean, I definitely enjoyed it. It was week of pay, it was awesome. But anyways, hashtag team early motherfuckers. So we scored these off the shock drop. I was trying to get two other pairs. I know somebody in Elise Summit was able to score these fuckers, at least 15 pairs of the Jordan 4 Thunders. These are definitely gonna be up there. The, the price on them, you don't wanna sleep on these, okay? Do not sleep on these for shit because these are definitely gonna explode in price. Okay, let me take out the other shoe real quick. One thing's for sure that I do like, which I would have preferred if we got the OG box, but for sure, one of the things that will influence, well, I feel like it has been an influence, just the box alone, the switch up of the, the box design and everything. It looks amazing, I mean, look at that. It's just so clean, so crispy, and that splatter look onto it, it makes it just all the more better in my opinion, but I do miss the OG box. I'm glad, what was it, the Red Thunders were the ones that got the OG box. It was definitely badass to see that again. Jordan 4 Thunders, we have them. They will be available as soon as Thursday. I'm posting everything on Thursday, so hopefully this video is uploaded uh, very, very soon. Hopefully, basically Monday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so yesterday was so soft, so we're about to, you know, talk about all that. But yeah, Jordan 4 Thunders, uh, size 8.5, and, and these right here. Uh, very, very happy that I was able to score these. I was very, very happy. I was trying to, I was like, should I probably keep them for myself? Maybe not. Um, but I decided I'm definitely not going to keep them just yet for myself. I'm going to wait until release day. Uh, some because I'm more worried about selling rather than collecting right now. That's where my priority is at, especially since now I'm out of a job. <laughs> But um, obviously, I don't want to make this whole thing my livelihood, obviously. But, I mean, it's just fun to do for me as well. I do love uh, reselling sneakers, and uh, it's awesome to also collect them while also reselling. Um, but, yeah, no, Jordan 4 Thunders, if you all need them, size and a half. I know StockX has them at a pretty shitty price point, but I know for a fact they'll go back up. So, 
I mean, might as well nip it in the butt. And you all might not like the price that I'll have them at, but at the same time, I just know that the guy that is selling... Well, by the way, he's a, he's a botter, okay? That's why I'm saying... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but he's a botter. So I definitely want to work with him a lot, especially when these drop, and especially the Jarritos Dunks. Those ones are definitely on the list for Denny P. I definitely have to try to get as many of those as I can from that guy and from individual cops. But anyways, yeah. Jordan 4 Thunders will be available as soon as Friday. Everything, all these uh, three pairs right here will be available. Um, be available Thursday. My bad. I just had a brain fart. Thursday, everything will be available. Pictures and everything, price and everything will be available on that day. But anyways, time for the bullshit ass job that I just had. So, fucking Thursday morning, some bullshit early as fuck. I'm barely just waking up, right? And I get a fucking, I see a message 5 in the morning saying, hey, we don't want you to come into work. <laughs> I cannot tell you the confusion that I had on my goddamn face when I saw that. The confusion, the fucking confusion that I had. And also my heart sank as well. Well, not not my heart as much my stomach sank. It was more my stomach. I had a like butterfly feeling, but also I could just feel the pressure leaving my body. It was just like, what the fuck? And it was 5.30 in the morning, okay? Not even a minute, not a fucking minute that I woke up. Uh, I, I get a phone call, like, it's from uh, the lady that hired me, which, well, I, by the way, I went through a third-party agency to get hired onto this job, um, which is, it's Duke Manufacturing, okay? It's Duke Manufacturing. They straight up just gave me no respect in this uh, termination whatsoever. ever. And they told me I could go back, okay? After this whole thing happened, they told me I could go back within a week. Do I plan on going back? No, not really. Some because them motherfuckers had no respect for me. It's just, I, I really hope that the guy that they put in my spot, which by the way, he had no training whatsoever. And I really wasn't training him either. I, I he, was in, he was put with me during a pretty big table that we had to make. But um, I just was like, hopefully he don't, hopefully he don't stay long. Because I know he was looking at a job that was like 30 an hour. So hopefully he fucking leaves. But the reason why I want to see that happen is because I am really hopeful that they call me back. And so I can finally say the words, well, 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 look who can call me back. 5.30, no hesitation to get a call. Real quick, they tell me, hey, they don't want you to report in for work today. They say they terminated your um, your temporary uh, employment here, so please don't show up. So then I'm just like questioning her, like, you know, why? What's going on? And she's like, due to your attendance. And I was like, what do you mean attendance? And she goes on about, you know, how to be, well, actually, no, she didn't go on about anything. She actually had to talk to my supervisor and my fucking line leader about the situation because she didn't even know what was going on. She was basically woken up the same way I was. They were basically calling her in the morning like, hey, mm. they were basically calling her in the morning saying, hey, tell Brian, don't ever show up anymore. So that was the way. Uh, that went down. So then I go back to bed. I wake up at like fucking 8 o'clock. Almost exactly. I want to say like 8.03, 8.05, some bullshit like that. And then um, I go downstairs and I'm just like, you know, waiting for the phone call. It's been a few hours. She said she would call me in a few hours earlier in the day. Um, so I was like, okay. Waited and waited and waited until finally, I want to say maybe around 11.30. Uh, no, 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 no. Like... 10 o'clock 10 o'clock it was 10 o'clock because i remember 11 30 i was keeping uh close uh close count of 11 30 because that's whenever it was our lunch time but 10 10 o'clock i get the call saying hey from uh duke which i probably shouldn't have used your name but it is what it is we wanted to uh let you know the reason why you got terminated it was because of attendance however uh what i'm noticing from my end is that you're not even late to work so, uh, and I, I'm, uh, and I was telling her, it's like, you know, yeah, you're, you're really, you're really starting to get to me a little bit because at the same time, not only have I been on time for the last few days throughout this week and also really other previous times, uh, was I late a few times? I did tell her, yes, I was. However, I mean, she just ended up pulling up my supervisor and, you know, we had a whole conversation, me and my supervisor, and he told me that, uh, which this was something... I knew about, like, I, I didn't know at this job, but I knew that other factors did this, but I didn't know Duke did this bullshit. So basically it was, hey, you have to be on the line at 1130, which by the way, this is not a, a fucking job that has a whole assembly line. So we could kind of take our time. We're, we're not in a rush because I'm working on my own individual 
school project, okay? Because that's basically what it was, really. It was just a, you know, big-ass school project that I had to build all by myself, okay? Which was nice. I'm not going to say it. it was definitely an awesome job to have, okay? Because I got to mess with a lot of tools and this and that and, you know, kind of not really welding. I, I mean, I, I just, you know, bolt, fucking bolted on some studs around there. So, yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. Uh, or welded in some studs on there. Um, but yeah, no, I had a whole entire thing going on and uh, basically I was making hot frost tables. So, supervisor comes in and says, hey, you have to be on your line at 11.30, which is the end of uh, break, I mean, lunchtime right there. And then also in the morning, you have to be clocked in uh, at 6.28 to be on your line at 6.30 which is something that the place that I got hired on through didn't fucking tell me, which I was so fucking confused and pissed because not only, you know, those fucking packets they send with you home after, uh, you know, the first day or so, the same thing here. Third party agency will send you home with a packet, go over the details of, you know, what will happen if you're late, what happened if you're, what happens if you're, you know, it was a whole fucking thing, dude. I don't know. I just was so mad. But basically, they said that I already knew that uh, 11.28 was the time I had to be back, uh, or at least walking back from lunch, or 6.28 was the time I had to be walking from the parking lot to be on my line at 6.30, which made no... I mean, it makes sense, yes, but it made no sense to me because I was confused, you know? I was told by my, you know, hiring people, I was told by the people who hired me, that hey, you gotta be on on time at 6:30, which I was like, okay, yeah, that's easy. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna bitch about that part. What I'm bitching about is the fact that nobody told me that 6:28 was the time we actually had to be clocked in, and 11:28 was the fucking time I had to start heading back from lunch. Now here's the fucking kicker: a whole gang of motherfuckers, a whole gang, capital G A N G. A whole gang of motherfuckers, okay, were walking back the same time that I was walking back, okay? So at 11.29, people are walking from lunch, man. They're not on their line at 11 fucking 30. Same thing from the parking lot when people are at the time clock. I'm, okay, imagine this, right? A whole bunch of people at the time clock right here. Let's say the time clock's right here. But I'm all the way in the fucking back. I'm all the way in the fucking back. Because there's a whole bunch of people that just showed up. Now, there was times I clocked in 6.28, 6.29, and uh, even 6.27, I believe, is what the HR lady told me. So, she saw that. But, I guess it didn't correlate with my dumbass supervisor and my fucking line leader. So, that was an issue. And plus, they, he, he was caught. He was caught with something, by the way, too. My supervisor, at least, and my line leader. None of them fucking idiots ever documented they had no documentation that i was ever late back to the line so i, I either way i admitted to it i told him like yeah i wasn't back on the line at, at 11 30 exactly or or uh at least like i would be back at 11 31 and i would never let it go past that um but either way the walk from the lunchroom all the well cafeteria to my area was not more than a minute away it wasn't it, i could definitely walk it real quick so i would be back on the line at 11 30. But the one thing I do do is I go and put my book bag on my shelf that I have in my area and I go to the bathroom real quick because, I mean, I'm holding it in most of the time. I don't really like going to the bathroom, uh, at least in that area because, I mean, most of the guys that work there stunk up that motherfucker like crazy. It smelled like absolute fucking... It smelled like death. It smelled like someone shat out death, okay? that It was so bad. It, it was insanely horrendous to go to the bathroom there and especially the one that i really like to use i mean it was one that was closed in it was just one stall which is your peaceful time okay that was the time you finally could collect your thoughts and whatnot but um no nah, man i i uh i went to the bathroom and i i'm assuming that's what basically that was all about at least for lunch but for when clocking in i told them oh, look there's a bunch of fucking people and even some of my co-workers that do the same fucking thing. They're not getting to the area at 6.31. Or, I mean, 6.30, sorry. They're not getting to the fucking area at 6.30. Why? Because them motherfuckers are clocking in at 6.28, 6.29, and they're not getting back on time, okay? I just know it. 6.28, I'll give you that. I mean, definitely, we'll definitely get on time at 6.30. But 6.29, no fucking chance. No, especially the people that were behind me that I was clocking in at 6.29, there's no way. And the fact that I got singled out made it even worse, okay? 
Um, at least I think I got singled out. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that maybe they did fire someone else, uh, which if they did, it would kind of make me feel a little bit better. I'm sorry if you're watching if you got fired this previous week or probably this week. If You know, I, I don't know. If you ever watch this, I'm sorry, okay? But look, my situation was shitty and I was hoping it happened. You know, I was hoping to see it happen to someone else because it would make me feel a little bit better the about the situation. But yeah, no, man, that was such a shitty job. I mean, uh, well, it wasn't a shitty job. No, I, I love the job. Okay, why? Because I was in my own area for quite a bit of time. Now, I'm leaving out a lot of details, but really, I want to go more into depth on the previous job that I worked before, which have to do with McDonald's, uh, Stanley Black & Decker, but that literally was a month. Dollar Tree, DC, and then uh, DoorDash, and motherfucking most uh, UPS and Duke. Those were my two recent uh, employers. Uh, oh no, also fucking, I'm forgetting, uh, American Freight, okay? I'm gonna put them on blast for sure. I mean, it's just, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking hesitate, man. I mean, it, it's definitely gonna be a fun ass journey, but um, let, let's just say this though. There was a lot of things that I left out that I definitely have fault at, but there was also a few things that I left out that were the fault of the company. AK communication, AK um, fucking lies and whatnot. So it was whole thing. Okay, so like I mentioned, and I'll highlight this real quick. There was no documentation from my supervisor and line leader saying that I was back late onto the line, and and, and she even said it herself. The lady that uh you know was on site for the uh, place that hired me, she's the on site. Uh, it was the on site, and I, I I'm probably gonna have to censor that. I I can't use her name. I can't do that. I'm probably going to censor both times that I've used your name or probably other times. Man, I'm going to have to edit this motherfucker like crazy. Later down the road, I'll definitely make a video about the previous places that I've worked at. And this one is no exception because there's still quite a bit that I've left off. And I'll definitely make the video very, very soon. It will not be a no filter sort of thing. I'll probably do like a sort of story, story time sort of thing. We'll see how I go about it. But um, yeah, no, there was definitely some bullshit in that. And I'll go more into detail because I ended up friending somebody from work about that, which I actually knew his brother uh, from my high school actually I knew his older brother um, and uh, he worked somewhere else but his little brother was there and he was a cool ass dude I don't want to use any names unless I have permission so I'll try to keep that uh, on the low but let's just say this though I will say this okay there was at least actually no I probably shouldn't say that now I'm gonna keep that on the down low because that could probably you know uh, get some people in trouble um, and it's not a big deal either way but anyways Enough about that. I'll go more into detail about that later down the road. Um, I'll make a whole video about previous places that I worked. Now, I'll probably make at least several parts of that. I'll probably make it like a three-part series, maybe a four-part series. Don't know exactly, but um, it's because I got a lot of jobs, man. I mean, I got a lot of jobs under my belt, but this one, this previous one, and the one um, Dollar Tree I got fired at, which Dollar Tree was really on some bullshit, okay? Especially due to a fat fucking higher up that just has his buddy buddies and his buddies fucking snitched me out okay so that one's gonna be a good one you don't want to miss that one That's, that one's gonna be a good one but um i probably shouldn't really put them on blast yet because i plan on going back to work to them why because i want to make it my last job so i could dedicate my time to this like i said i'll probably make this into a four part series maybe even five depending how much detail i could really go into it but um it is what it is um but anyways on to recent events about KC Nail Market and SoulSwap KC. So KC Nail Market was like two weeks ago. It was a lot of fun, a lot of great vendors, a lot of great people, a great time. And uh, by the time I got there, okay, like I mentioned in my previous video that I uploaded, they were already starting to build a stage for the draft, okay, in KC by Union Station. Well, not by, in front of Union Station, which by the way, I have a little, I, I'm pretty sure I still in my in my gallery, but I have a little clip of that. Okay, so Casey Nut Market happened that night that I uh, took that video. Uh, like I mentioned, I don't know if I'm, I had made an edit before then or after that. Uh, I ended up making an edit before then, thankfully. Um, but uh, like 20 minutes, no, no, a whole 30 minutes before I re started recording that because I was low on gas and I had to go find a gas station, uh, which is kind of sketchy because, I mean, Downtown KC isn't the most pleasant at night, but it's pretty friendly. But I mean, there's definitely some crazy shit going on every now and again, uh, just depending on what direction you're looking at. 
But um, Casey and I market, a lot of fun, a lot of great vendors. Uh, I saw one of my vending neighbors there, uh, which uh, their name is Wasteland Society. Wasteland Society. Uh, I just I go real quick. Wasteland Society, Wasteland Society, whatever. But great people, awesome, awesome people. The dude, I mean, I, I didn't, I don't even know his name properly, man. I, I just don't know why the fuck I don't get people's names. I recognize, recognize his face, but uh, they had a lot of great shirts there. They had a lot of great hoodies, a lot of great shirts, some stuff for females as well. Um, and also there was a few vendor, there was one vendor, I mean, that had like uh, bottles of tequila that were drained and everything like that. Um, they put like these little lights in there and some fabric that was transparent and it would like really look really cool with those little lights in there the fabric and everything like that and it would shine the uh, the tequila bottle quite a bit uh and in a very awesome way like i mean obviously it's gonna light up because it's lights but it was pretty awesome it just made it look pretty interesting and i was thinking about grabbing that for my girlfriend it, it definitely looks like a pretty badass gift for anybody dope ass uh product right there and also like I said, jewelry goods, there was quite a few people that, uh, quite a few vendors, I mean, they had some jewelry stuff on them, earrings, necklaces, uh, shirts, obviously, like I said, Wasteland Society had some clothing to them, and then what else was there? Also, just people promoting their business in general, they had like billboards and stuff like that, you know, uh, and also art. There was also some vendors that had art pieces uh, with them that they were selling. Now, I didn't get a lot of footage, but I did have a little edit right here. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Casey Nell Market, can't wait for V10. Looking very much forward to that. A lot of great people were there. Um, most of the time when I'm vending though, I always, always never get a chance to really look at things you know that are going on uh, within the market. Who's, what, who's selling what and this and that. So it was awesome to be a, a customer for once. I, I finally got a break, so I was really happy. Uh, definitely next time though, I definitely have to bring some cash and whatnot because I did not purchase anything, unfortunately. Even though I told myself, okay, I need to buy something for my girl, uh, maybe something nice for my parents. Um, but no, I fucking didn't carry any cash on me. I know probably a majority of them probably took card as well, but uh, I really just wanted to carry some goddamn cash on me this time around. And um, and one thing too, what I noticed, the reason why I don't like using the card at least, because a lot of them, uh, and including myself, we noticed that those fucking square card readers uh, end up taking a little bit of money from that. And I don't know if they were charging for that, which I really try to avoid that really simply because it's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying for money to be taken out. And then, you know, we also, some of us vendors would be charging more. For me, I don't really care. I don't, you know, tell anybody to cover that fee whatsoever. I, I really don't really give a rat's ass about that. But it is, it is suck because I know some vendors will charge that little fee in order to get their full amount from the product, which is fine. But again, I just, you know, prefer to really just, you know, give them the full amount right then and there while I'll having to figure out an additional thing. So, yeah, there was that. But yeah, can't wait for V10. Looking very much forward to that. Hopefully it takes place in June. Uh, yesterday before this video, video was recorded, it was Soul Swap. All right, yesterday before? Shit, no, I mean yesterday. Soul Swap KC took place uh, yesterday before this recording, and uh, it was a lot of fun, man. It was a lot of fun, and 150 plus vendors were there. For some reason, I don't know what happened, but there was definitely a lot of tables vacant, okay? There was a lot of tables that had no vendors, actually. Um, well, not a lot, like maybe, oh man, maybe five, maybe six of them out of the hundreds that were there. So yeah, it was definitely um, a little bit unorganized because when I got there, I called the uh, organizer and it was a young dude. It was a young dude organizing this whole entire thing, which probably was a little bit too much for him because not only did, um, not only was my spot not 100% reserved, I had to literally find the spot that I needed. Okay, he didn't make no map, he didn't make this. He's like, look, uh, this whole thing got crazy and I fucking gave up and I mean, just try to find a, a table that's available to you and that's it. Luckily, once we got through the door, there was some table, there was a table that was up against the wall, which that was, that was what I was asking for, a, a wall table, because 
I just don't like having someone behind my product and the next thing you know they try to pull a fast one on me so yeah that's why I just wanted a, a wall table for us and uh, there was a still a whole lot more space by the way there was like a whole fucking corner that was empty dude it was fucking awesome now I really hope Soul Swap grows to that point where it's using that area and obviously the main area that they finally made this at. But uh, they also did have uh, the TikTok Andy Reid there, which was kind of disappointing simply because I was hoping that my dad, which, who was a really big fan of Andy Reid and the Chiefs, I was hoping it would be the real him and I was hoping to get a signature uh, for my dad onto his uh, Kansas City Chiefs hat. So. Yeah, but it turns out it was TikTok uh, Andy Reid, which is fine. Not, I'm not going to say it was entirely disappointing, but it was awesome to see a, a doppelganger of him at the same time. Really great impression, by the way. Really, really great. You know, almost exactly on the dot, by the way. Almost exactly on the dot, okay? He looks exactly like Andy Reid. But yeah, no, I mean, this is just, man, it was definitely awesome to see that dude. And uh, he was he was doing his full thing, man. He was literally like, you know, welcome to Soul Swap KC. You know, he had the phone. He was going on he was on live on tiktok and whatnot i was trying to conversate with him but at the same time i really wanted to conversate with the real andy reed i was really hoping to conversate with him simply because i'm a very big opportunist i really was hoping to maybe talk to the actual andy reed and you know save maybe i could get my you know uh maybe some sort of work at the chiefs facility maybe or something to do with the chiefs that i could help him out with you know i was just so fucking ready to conversate with that man and maybe even buy him a cheeseburger maybe i don't know but i was really hoping for that kind of opportunity um but it is what it is again i'm not disappointed i was just you know really surprised that it was you know tiktok andy reed you know i mean um but regardless it was awesome to see him there so hopefully everything goes really well for him it looks like he's been building quite a bit of a following so it was awesome to see that but um yeah, Soul Swap KC, a lot of fun, 150 plus vendors. By the way, I do have some clips right here. Soul Swap KC is going down right now. We here. Got all the pairs out today, y'all. We got a bunch of Dunks here in the front row. We got a bunch of Nikes, Jordans, stuff like that here. Y'all don't want to miss it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Okay, so Soul Soft KC, a lot of fun. 150 plus vendors. A lot of great vendors, a lot of great people as well. Um, everybody was very respectable about things. Um, I mean, there was, it was just a great vibe, man. And also, I think, um, uh, uh, I forgot his YouTube. I forgot the YouTube. Right? I don't remember. I'll have to probably show a picture of him. But he was there, and um, ah man, I forgot his name. I, I don't even watch him that much to be honest. But except uh, I know he's he's a pretty cool dude. Um, I saw him walking around the event. Um, there was definitely some people going up to him, 100%. Uh, he walked, you know, right alongside my booth. So it was awesome to to see him walk by at least. Uh, I'm not really like a huge fan of so many of these sneaker youtubers. I mean, I'm mostly into like Seth Fowler Unbreakable kicks and um, A few others as well, but I don't really follow too much of the sneaker thing That's why I don't really talk about it too much necessarily at least not now uh, But hopefully once I get some Really good amount of pairs. I'll definitely make a nice little vlog of you know specifically what I got so Yeah, but anyways so swap KC went down, KC no market went down, draft is coming up this weekend. I mean, it's been a good time so far in KC. It's been a great time. Can't wait uh, for Kicks and Couture. Again, that's going down uh, April 29th, uh, 12 to 5 p.m., just like how SoSwap did it at uh, the headquarters of Operation Breakthrough. Uh, I think it's going to be down at Ignition Lab, so that's going to be pretty badass as well. But anyways, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. These will be available on Thursday as well as these right here and then these right here so everything will be available on Thursday we'll post pictures and prices and all that sorts of stuff on Thursday uh, before the big event on the 29th but anyways thank you very much again for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video take care be safe out there don't do nothing crazy special with this weekend coming up uh, which by the way I'm gonna try to get a vlog in 
of all three days. I'm gonna try my best, okay? No guarantees, but I will try my damnest to do it because I definitely wanna dedicate my time and effort to YouTube, which hopefully on Tuesday or Monday, I mean, I will upload something pretty, a little bit more interesting. Um, I know this hasn't been the most interesting, at least, but I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more. Uh, I'm just also experimenting some things at the same time, so. Uh, but yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, be safe, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.